a special shout out to all my awesome YouTube members and patrons Riptide, Anik D, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, Yushiga Bay, Madlow, Lucky Charm, Sam Medina, and Billionaire Overlord for their amazing support. Hey guys, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Darkness Falls mod. So, we are going to be clearing or fetching from this level 5 first of year. It seems that the fetch is on this floor. Um, the minimap doesn't really make sense. I can't really tell wh what's where. We're going to try and clear this place out. Now, if a demon attacks me, I need to shoot it with this to degen it. What if I shouldn't keep this one on me as well? Where was it just now? The pistol. Um, I want to be able to use either, so I don't have to waste the pistol. Uh, we need to be super careful. I need to degen the demons. And then I need to go uh, do this fetch quest. I have no idea where this fetch is going to be though, so that's a big problem. I'm actually thinking of just breaking through the walls and hoping for the best. Uh, zombies might fall from the top, so I need to be careful. If I break through over here... Crap. Need to be quiet. I'm just going to break one one, one block, uh, block of here and see if I can't get this fetch. We just need the fetch. We don't have to find the final stash. We don't have to be heroes. I want to see if we can't survive this. There's still a uh, behemoth or wandering horde with a behemoth walking around over here. So we don't want to take any unnecessary chances right now that's going to end up getting us killed. Probably try and pull it towards me and then try and get back into that hole. If I can get to this hole over here, I'll be able to get sa to safety. And she should be attacking over here. Why is she going that way? Oh, please don't attack these barrels. If she attacks these barrels, we have a... Oh, crap. He makes everyone faster, so we have to be careful of that. Oh, wow. Look at that little damage. HP was super low for some reason. Have I been unnecessarily scared of demons and they're not that tough? Hope that's the case. Maybe so careful of zombies just hiding in these back streets over here. It's right here. Awesome. Okay. Um. Hmm. Let's just see what's around the corner. I can always just run away and get to safety. We need to be careful of demonic dogs. We had one demonic dog appear. See, if I had some wooden frames, I could stack all the way to the top and see what's up there. But if we don't have to, we don't have to. There's no reason to play hero and then die. So I'm actually thinking of just running like this. I need to try and kill this wandering horde. If I can kill that behemoth, we might get some uh, secret stash and stuff. Um, I wonder if I shouldn't try and lure them this way. The only problem is if I can't kill him fast enough, we might have a problem. Please, 3,000 HP. This might be dumb. Run, 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 run. And I need to be able to run away at any time as well. Use this. Ooh, oh, damn, he didn't drop anything. But it was worth the effort, guys. If that actually yielded results just now, that would have been awesome. Every time we see a wandering horde, we need to try and kill them just for that bonus XP. Why are you? Oh, you're muted. No, then there has to be a mutated footballer for it to be that fast. That was nightmare speed just now, and usually that means there's a mutated footballer. There's a bookstore over there, so I'm actually thinking of trying to break in there. This place is so full of demons and stuff, you have to be careful. Man, look at that. Look, look at that. Okay, so I'm going to see... Oh, there's books over here. That's wood. I need to be careful of wood. This is cobble above me, so this is not going to protect me that much if there's a zombie or something up here. Okay, so they're going to break through the door. I just lure them back over here. I need to make sure that by the time the demons break through... I'm able to just hit them with this so they can't vomit at me. Ooh, that was close. Okay, I need to make sure that we stop the regen. That was a little bit of a waste of ammo just now. I panicked. Do not panic, John. There's no. Oh, what was that? What was that? What was that? We just got another quill. Oh, quill shock and receiver. Now we can make our own. I think we already have one barrel. Uh, and more M4A1s. Nice. 
Okay, something just broke out over there. Oh no. Demonic cowboy. Okay, my drones can deal with this one. I need to deal with this dude. I already shocked him, already stopped the regen or rather. So he should die from this. And I need to make sure I reload my turrets every now and then as well. Okay, my turrets are out and I'm not doing a headshot. Sean, headshots. I forgot the Darkest Falls also technically has like a headshot thing. Where body shots don't really do that much damage. I should probably make sure that I loot these with my uh, nerdy glasses. Just now we're able to get some really, really good loot that way. Okay, so I can do this. I need to make sure I make some more of these as well, because this is going to help us out tremendously. Okay, now where... I need to work on my jumping ability so I can jump higher, and then I need to take her out. Oh no. He's a screamer, which means if she screams right now, I'm screwed. I'm going to have to run away. I'm going to have to run away. Oh, I should have swapped to the, uh, to the new gun. All the noise just now called in a scream. I need to be careful of that. I'm going to have to pick up my drones and just run if I see a screamer right now. Okay, so this is a bookstore. I should be safe over here now. Um, want to get some books? Nope, books. There's not that many books, guys, but books are books. Uh, the more notes we can actually find right now, the better. If I can get 600 notes and get myself the master scientist, then all of this would have been worth it. You be careful, the zombies don't just all of a sudden fall on our heads. We're right above or underneath uh, possible demons and stuff, so I need to be so damn careful. We need more red notes, though. I'm really hoping we come across, like, a demonic scientist, because I think they have a high, higher chance of dropping what we need. We need a demonic scientist right now to drop us one red note, just one. And then we can get level 2 out of 5 of the future tech class. It's actually funny. Now, speaking of future tech, um, someone commented on my video, uh, on one of my old videos, this is the worst video ever. It doesn't talk about classes. I actually said the best class available. And I meant like I unlocked the, uh, the future tech class. That's the best class available. They took it as this is a um, how-to video. And I mislabeled it. I, 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 this is such a bad video because it's so super long for a how-to. And it doesn't even explain what the title says. I mean, please, use your brain. Oh, nice. Uh, that we can actually drink for more wellness. I need to make sure we max out our wellness as soon as possible. Done. All of these are done. Unfortunately, I need more bookstores. I'm guessing there's going to be more loot and stuff on top. I wonder where the final stash for this place is. It's huge, so there should be some somewhere. Okay, and then let's really go to the trader. Now that this is done, turn to trader. Did we do the other one? Yeah, we did. Um, now that this is done, I'm really thinking of going to Jen and just doing some of her tiers as well. I'll need to make sure that we're constantly seeing if we can't make some more or get some more washer books by going for other traders as well. I think our starter town only had of this trader. That's why this trader's um, skill jumped up so fast. If I'm not mistaken, his quest went from tier 2 to tier 5. I had a tier 2 with him. I didn't do quests for a while, leveled up, and then all of a sudden, when I completed the one, I got tier 5 from him. So I wonder if it's also something to do with, like, your level or what's going on with that. Oh, I still wanted to make forged iron. Okay, so, uh, I'm gonna do this. High bombs, need some explosives. And healing, why not? Okay, when do you reset again? Because I need some recipes from you. Fetch and clear? There's no way. Well, it depends on the POI. We might be able to clear it. But I'll rather do these things. Buried supplies. There you go. And get some coin from that. And it's going to be a while until I do it anyways. Because Great I want to go do stuff for the lady. The gen. The one that gave me the best rewards ever. Can I trust you? I mean, guys, that laser workbench is definitely a game changer. Ooh, so close to each other. You have to do that one first and then this one in case you can't clear the zombies from that one. There's definitely... I wonder if I can clear the uh, demonic zombies and stuff now because we do have the laser sword. If I can make a hole where I can just see the faces and just hit them, hit them, hit them. The problem is underneath ground, they're going to try and break the dirt to get to me. And that's going to screw me. 
Okay, so we just have to go to the Forge House first, see what that's crafting. I need to make sure we make more of this as well, because we only have one stack left. But that's what happens when you face really tough zombies. Okay, you reset day 56 again. That's actually really far away. Um, We don't need any more Molotovs at this stage. Technically, I should buy as many Molotovs as possible. Because you never know when you're going to need more. But at the moment, it just feels like overkill. We have stacks and stacks at the base. And he's not selling anything else like Master Box. His, re his recipes ran out. So yeah, I think we should go for Jen. Um, I mean, she's still going to give us level 1 quests. But we are going to get some demons, so you have to be careful. I think as long as we have our sword on us, we should be okay. Um, because this sword kills demons fast. And level 1 and 2 uh, tier, or two, tier two, 1 and 2, they're only going to give like 1 or 2 uh, demonic zombies. If you're unlucky, you might get a, a titan or something. And if we could just use the sword to clear places out and get some quests done for Jen, and get her rep up until 30, that's all I need right now. I need to be careful. Sometimes when I come back here, there's screamers. Other times I come back here and there's no screamers. Some people say they've never had screamers come for their forges when they're not there. But guys, I've come back to my base. I don't know if it's just because I was too close to the base, doing stuff too close. But in the past, I have come back to the base and then there's screamers around the base waiting for me. That's something you really don't want happening. Okay, bullet tips, you are done. We can actually make more over there. Okay, now the question is, what am I going to do now? I need space. Um, we are going to need dyes and stuff. Food, that gives you zero wellness. I can't, I don't want to eat stuff that's not going to give me wellness. Okay, uh, this gives food poisoning 1%. What are the chances? I say as I get food poisoning in instantly. Okay, I need to make more of those other things. So I'm going to do this quickly. I'm going to do this and this. Okay, how many darts can I make? And darts, 10,000. I wonder if I shouldn't make 5,000 for now. 2,500, 2,500. The reason is uh, I don't want to use up all the resources because otherwise I'm going to have to come back and mine more. And you guys know how lazy I am. If I have to mine, mine, mine all the time, I'm going to get really bored of that. Uh, let me just see something. You already have the dice set. You don't have. There's 402 left. Let's just do this. Or two. There you go. I want to make sure that I don't have too much stuff on me right now so I can actually grab the rest of this. Then we'll have way more ammo as well. I need to make sure we're constantly coming back to that. Before we go to Jen, I think I'm going to spend the night at my base just hiding away from the zombies. And then before we go to Jen, we just please stop here and see how many of those spikes or darts we can actually grab with us. It's going to be dangerous going to Jen now at night time because even level 1s at night is going to be a little bit tough. So I think I'm going to just stick it around the base, just hide out a bit. Literally hide, I'm a scaredy cat. <laughs> I'm going to hide here and then just see in the morning we can go back in. This, yeah, this, uh, I forgot that the trees grow really slow and this stuff finishes really fast. We can make ourselves so many bacon and eggs right now. But that's not going to be necessary. Oh, I was at the forge base just now. I need to make forged iron. I want to see how much forged iron I can get for 200 and something titanium. I should be able to run without uh, too much worries right now. I need to be careful though, if I run past a POI and a demon spawns right next door. Because when you're running like this, it's definitely going to make some noise and spawn in some zombies for you. And I need to make sure we grab some wooden frames so we can stack up against the building. And Molotov. Okay, I need to use this. Titanium, forged titanium. Oh, master laborer or titanium crafting. Oh no. Oh, we have points. Okay, um... Titanium crafting. There you go. And forged titanium, we need clay. I thought you need some iron as well. It seems the recipe changed. This used to be titanium and iron and clay, wasn't it? Only 14. <laughs> it's really not worth it at the moment. I mean, at least it's done now. We don't have to worry, but still, that's so not worth it. But guys, if I can make myself the master... Let's just see if we don't perhaps have enough notes for the master scientist. If we have enough notes for that master scientist class or a mochi book, we'll be able to go and to make a proper old base. I think my next series will be Romero, but with like a horde knight. And uh, we're going to use Wandering Hordes still um, a little bit, but I'm mostly going to focus on horde knights. Because Wandering Hordes, I'm going to want to kill them, and then the more you kill, the more your game stage gets just way too high too fast. But yeah, if we can make the master scientist right now, we'll be able to go to the wasteland without having to worry. Uh, let me just see, how much space do I have? I do this. 
There's not gonna be enough space, is there? I thought I might be clever right now, but I'm really dumb. <laughs> okay, uh, that's not gonna have space. That's gonna have space. We can't drink that. Can't eat. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to drop stuff first, and then I want to see how many notes we have of here. Ah, oh, too low. We only have 447. We need 600. We need 120 for the class book or the blank paper, and then you need 480 for the mastery book. So we're there. We're almost there. We just need another bookstore. Or we need to clear a whole ass building, um, which I haven't done in a while because of all the demons. The nice thing is if I go do stuff for Jen now, we might actually be able to get this done. Yeah, I'm running out of casings as well. I need to remember that. Okay, um, let me just really put all of this stuff away. And then I think I'll see you guys in the morning because there's nothing really to do at night. We still have these jars crafting over here. We need to fill them up on the roof. There's nothing else crafting over here and there's no glue or anything crafting anymore. There's no point in keeping you guys around for something that might or might not happen. A blade of armor I have to make. See, we can make 14 forge, so we're almost close enough to be able to make one of these. Basically, for those who don't know, it just says reduces your chance of getting set on fire by 10%. So basically, when you're wearing a full set of this stuff, uh, you get 50% fire resist. But you can still get set alight, but it helps a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Um, I'm going to see if I can't make some mods and stuff for my tools. Perhaps my sword better weapon mods and then i'll catch you guys in the morning yeah see you guys now okay and it is morning i've been actually making a few turrets and mods and stuff uh, as you guys can see i could combine it over here and now that's a hell bear oh no there's a wandering horde out here we do this we do this wow oh, they're not shooting Oh crap, these were not reloaded, no. No, 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 please don't break it, please don't break it, please don't break it. Nice. They fell down. They're gonna damage that block, oh crap. Uh, they're gonna damage that block and break through if I'm not careful. Yeah, I need to hit him. It's a hell base, so I need to hit him with some laser tech. Uh, he's not gonna regen Master, anymore. We are not alone. He's regening slowly but surely. I need to be careful of him. If we can just make it over here again. Why are they not helping me kill this dude? This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. He just broke my defenses really easily. I'm gonna have to run away. Oops. Yep, that's too late now, guys. Too late now. A little bit late. They couldn't see through a hole for over there for some reason, so they didn't shoot the zombie. Okay, he dropped something. Hopefully it was worth the effort just now because I just lost out on so much. Should have probably put on my other glasses, but for now, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to have to uh, replace those with those blocks so that the zombies know exactly what to look for. Or the, uh, the turrets that actually shoot through these blocks. It's so messed up. It's a my massive vulture. Okay, you know what? If that vulture comes over here, or oh, that over here now, uh, we're gonna have a problem. I'm gonna have to ride away, drive away as fast as possible. Uh, we cannot afford to face the Screamer Ward right now. What we could do is place or drop turrets down below. That should kill the Screamer, hopefully. So we need to kill that Screamer. The, the moment that Screamer is dead, we don't have to worry too much. This was a weird wandering hall just now. It needs to climb up the stairs, but now I decided to not do it anymore. We can just kill that screamer. We will be safe. The fact that that Titan was able to break these blocks so easy just now was really scary. Um, I'm thinking of just dropping my turret down there so it shoots the uh, the screamer for us. If I do this, oh, 
I'll be. Oh, he keeps falling down. Nice. See him. I need to hit with a laser weapon so he doesn't regen. There you go. Ah, now the zones are coming for me. Damn it. I just have to run away. That wasn't a scream wall just now. That's a wandering wall coming back. I definitely gonna have to run away from the uh, behemoth though. I think. Ah, oh, no. No, there's no way I can actually kill this dude. He breaks blocks so fast. Should be able to just run away from him. used to have like a... Uh... Now I have to run away. Now I have to run away. There's no way I can actually face a whole world right now. Remember guys, there's no reason to fight the zombies. You don't have to. Run away. I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run. My turrets I have to pick up, but I'll, I'll let them just deplete for now. Look at this. There's no way. You don't have to face the zombies. Just drive away and you'll be safe. Oh, look at that demolisher. Oh, ho, ho. But I need my turrets. I need to lure them away at least fast enough or far, far enough so I can grab my turrets again. And then we need to go... Then I need to go to the... Gen... To Jen's uh, place. Oh, have we done this bookstore over here? I can't remember. No, while they're there, let's quickly check this place out. If I can get some notes, guys, we just need... I think we've already done this one before. But well, we just need like a hundred or something notes and then we're set. Now, no, we haven't done this one before. It's just a shame we don't have our bloody turrets with us now. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. He was hit with laser tech, so I should be able to kill him. Yeah, this is a tough zombie. Ooh, my mouse all of a sudden just didn't work properly. Ooh, I need to be careful. Okay, so. Uh, are these all... These are just wandering zombies. I want to make sure we have a space to fall back to in case we really need to. Uh, but if we can loot all of these books over here, guys, we'll have enough notes to do whatever we need to do. I'm perhaps gonna have to go back to my base and just quickly grab my turrets. I need to I need my turrets to help me clear out of here. I can degen them and the turrets can kill them. Okay, so now we know this bookstore is untouched. Let's just quickly go do this. Guys, if we can hit the master scientist, that's gonna solve our problems for us. But obviously those wandering zombies by our base, eh, it's not that great. A really bad situation. And have they despawned yet? Looks like it. Nope. Not really. Okay, if I can do this fast enough, I might be able to... See, the Titans and stuff is going to try and attack us right now. Master, we are not alone. That's a behemoth. That's a radiated behemoth. The female behemoth. And she's fast. Ooh, the Titans are right behind her as well. Okay, I want to lure them away because I don't want them coming to the bookstore as well. Ooh, uh, what I'm probably gonna have to do is quickly go to the forge house. But I need to make sure that I lose these guys before I go there. I need to go to the forge house and grab some ammo first because we're definitely gonna need... Oh crap, please don't follow me. We need the, the turret ammo. It's a behemoth. If I open this door, she's gonna come for me, right? If I drop her, she might actually give me some red notes as well. Okay, if I can just lure her away. Let's really see if we can't just kill her at least. If we can kill her, we might be able to get some good loot from it. We need to try and kill these zombies apart from each other. Okay, you also might have some regen. So oh, damn. Okay. 
Oh, that was a bit of lag. But yeah, um, if we can kill them that fast, it wouldn't be an issue. Unfortunately, we can't kill all of them that fast. Okay, I need to grab my stuff and get out of here. Those titans can break this place apart so fast. Okay. I'm going to leave that in there for now. And I'm going to grab all of this. With this, we should be able to do the bookstore. And as soon as we do the bookstore, we can do the master scientist. And as soon as we can do the master scientist, we can go to the wasteland and loot more stuff. Better stuff. Perhaps even find Caitlin and buy some stuff from her. Okay, so what I need to do next is we need to go over here to the bookstore. Where's the bookstore now? We just drive past and hopefully they don't join me. I'm really hoping that I didn't accidentally lure them towards the... Oh, well. I ran the wrong direction. I really hope that I didn't lure too many of them to my to the other uh, bookstore over here. It seems that most of them are stuck back there. That's good. Most of them are stuck back there, so we shouldn't have a problem here. I'm gonna try and clear out this whole place, but I need to do it in such a way where I can actually face the demons and stuff. Probably see if I can't lure the zombies inside this place, outside the place, and then face them that way. I can drop one of these and then hit him with this. See, I didn't have my I don't have my Molotovs with me. Damn, I need to make sure we always, always have our Molotovs with us. Okay, and then do this. If we can keep killing demons this easily, just use our turrets and stuff cleverly. We'll be able to clear this place out and get a ton of notes. This place alone should give us about a hundred to two hundred. Oh no armor. That was power armor just now. Why don't you dare destroy my books? I should probably try and, you know, I'm going to try and loot these books at least, the ones that are close to us. Or, you know, I should probably first clear the place out so that we can not have to worry about zombies all the time. The problem is if a ton of zombies from over there start walking this way, we're going to have a problem. Let's really kill this. Whoa. My senses have picked up something. He was fast because there is a... Oh no, there's a mutated football here somewhere. Is there a demon in there? Yep, there's definitely a mutated, feral, a mutated football over here somewhere. But the only reason all of these dudes are fast during daytime. I'm wondering now where the hell that's gonna be. It might be in the back room, so I need to be careful. Oh, the back room. I, I almost forgot about that. The back room might be full of demons and stuff. It's really going to be tough clearing the zombies behind the counter. Now, if the rooms over here also have demons, I'm going to just have to do this from the start. Can't place blocks there. Oh, this might be bad. Okay, um... We'll see how they break out. I might actually have to place blocks over here to uh, stop them. Here we do this. We do this. I can't tell whether that's a demon or not. I've got a bad feeling about this. I'm gonna be as quiet as possible, but I'm making so much noise right now. I need to hit their heads to make sure I do the most amount of damage. Okay. Guys, I think I'm gonna call episode right here. Next episode, we're gonna clear out this back room and then get all the notes of here. And then we have to go work for Jen. If we can do her tears and get her books up, we might be able to get some martial books. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like, share with your friends, comment, subscribe, feedback, leave them below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkness Falls Insanity. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click join or the Patreon link in the description down below.